Hi, this is Andrew. Thanks for joining me. This is episode one in a smaller series of videos covering the installation of LAMP and uh, some of the configurations regarding Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So we're going to get started with that. Um, I have my Linux system running right here, and I'm following directions from a website. So my Linux system, it, it's CentOS, and my preference here is to actually switch to the root user. So I am now logged in as, well, if I type it properly, I'm now logged in as root, um, and I can start the installation. So first thing I'm going to do is actually install Apache, and that is uh, yum install httpd and httpd um, and this is CentOS 7 if you're looking to compare uh, it's, it's exactly the same as Red Hat um, but this is the installation I'll go through I'll do that um, ready to is this okay and the answer is yes um, so now we have Apache installed. Now I'm going to systemctl start httpd, uh, which is starting the Apache service. I'm also going to enable it, and that allows it to run uh, each time the system starts without manually um, without manually starting it. So uh, I should have it installed. I'm actually before I go any further. I'm going to go to another computer. I'm going to launch Firefox. This is just a Windows 10 computer in my same environment. And from here, I can do 172.16.123.8. And I have my Apache default website. So I can now move on to my next step. Um, now, make sure you, you test it out. Make sure it works. Make sure you can see everything. So next up, we need to install a database. And we could do MySQL. Um, the directions I'm following actually say use the Maria server, uh, the Maria database, which is a drop-in replacement for MySQL. So we'll follow those directions. Uh, yum install Maria DB server. MariaDB-server and MariaDB. So, um, if you have a specific reason, this this could be installed for something like WordPress. But if you're using it for a specific reason, use the components that work best for you in that situation. Uh, so I can do a yes here. And there we go. We have uh, our database installed. Um, now the final piece is uh, installing PHP. This is a programming environment. So we have um, our web server is Apache. Obviously Linux is our operating system. Our web server is Apache. And then we have a database to store information that the website is going to display or collect or whatever it's going to do with it. And then we have the programming environment to work with it. So yum install PHP and PHP MySQL. And we'll do a yes again. There we have another installation complete. So now uh, we actually want to reload Apache to make sure so that it will see everything that's there, um, any configurations that are changed. We're just going to do the same uh, systemctl restart httpd. And that will restart Apache. OK, next up we actually will test things out. So we're gonna create a simple PHP page that'll produce some information. Um, we're going to, I don't, 
don't believe I have nano installed, so we'll use vi and var www html, and we're going to call it info.php. And we have nothing in there. What I need to put in there, insert mode, and I need this exact format again this is i'm getting from a web page i don't have this off the top of my head but it's um it's the less than sign p uh question mark php space php info uh open close parentheses semicolon and then a space question mark and the greater than sign oops there um now i can save and close the file i'm in insert mode i'll do escape and then i can do um, colon wq and now i have my info php uh, now i don't have any firewall running uh, i can uh, if i run any firewall firewall commands they it's not found that's something I'll, I'll work on later on in um, another video later in the semester. One thing to keep in mind is this system should not be publicly exposed. It doesn't have a firewall, it's not secured. Um, just be aware of that. So now if we go back to our default web page, um, I can do a slash and do info.php and see if it's working and let's get this out of the way and there is our php information web page this tells us that everything installed it is working you have php installed it's giving you the version um so that's a good test to see if you did everything right so that is uh is really as difficult as it gets installing lamp this is basically the foundation for uh, installing future items, whether it's WordPress or something else that you need to install that is a web-based application. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.